This year is all about incorporating more vegetables into my diet and hopefully your diet. Emma? My diet. You're about the salads this year. I'm about whole vegetables. Yum. And one way to do that is about putting them into your favorite curries. Now, something that I like to make at any time of the year is a good, traditionally, butter chicken. But the ingredients and the flavors that are in a butter chicken marinade and the spices go beautifully with so many vegetables. And I've chosen to do cauliflower today. Emma, to start this recipe, all I'm going to get you to do yeah. is take these greens, mm -hmm. green leaves off the cauliflower and trim the stem down about two centimetres. And what I'm going to do is get the base of this curry going. Good couple of glugs of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil straight into the pot. And then we're just going to build up the flavours in this. So simple, so easy, you don't have to overthink it. Because the North Indian butter chicken simmer sauce and marinades in this do all the work for me. You know, when it comes to spices, sometimes you don't want to have to think about it. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. I love the convenience of the street kitchen and they're delicious. I'm quite excited about this dish. Butter chicken generally, you know, chicken thighs. Chicken yeah. bits. Lid can go on. Lid on, let's have a look. Ah. Perfect. Always good to check, because I tell you what, Many times I've made things and it hasn't fit in the pot. And it's like, well, what, what about when what you do I do now? You know, chop it up and the whole the whole effect is gone. So my oil's heated up here, which is great. Now I can start cooking this. Fenugreek and a bay leaf and a bit of cinnamon there. Cardamom. Great dried herbs. So they're starting to sizzle. And what I'm going to do is now add all the rest of the packets into this mix. You can smell the spices. Is that a garlic and ginger mix? Yep. Yeah. Whenever you're working with spices and marinades and curry paste, it's always a good idea to cook them off to get rid of that raw flavour before Absolutely. you start sealing off your meats or vegetables. Oh, I'm excited about this. Quarter of a cup of bullet cream, cooking Delicious. cream. Cooking I don't cream. want it to split through the process because this is going to steam for about 20 minutes. I just want a little bit of extra liquid in there. A tin of chickpeas. Oh. Look at this, you can see the flavours already building up here. Yum. I'd be happy with that. And now my whole cauliflower, as I said, just nestle that in, lid on. Now that's gonna cook yeah. till the cauliflower is just tender. So while that's steaming off, I'm just gonna get my rice on. I'm going to use the absorption method. Yeah. Before I do that, I like to start off my rice a similar way to a risotto, to just get that extra bit of flavor into it. I've put a teaspoon of fenugreek, two tablespoons, quarter of a cup of blanched almond. Rice goes in. Coat the rice grains in the oil, fenugreek and almonds oh. and heat this up. A good way to tell when it's ready to deglaze the pan mm -hmm. is you touch the rice. Mm -hmm. When you can't hold it, when it's just too hot to hold it, that's when you deglaze it with your stock water or wine. And that's how you maximise the flavour and the absorption method. It's a good tip. Yeah, really good. So just like stir it. it now. We're going to stir it for 30 seconds, 45 seconds and then we're going to add the stock. So Emma, I, feel, feel the rice, feel the rice. Oh, yeah, that's nice that's and a, hot. That's the temperature but where not, I want it. Not burning, but hot. Now, simple absorption method, one part rice, two parts liquid. 15 to 20 minutes, bring it up to the boil, turn it down to a gentle simmer, it's done. These are both gonna be ready at exactly the same time. We'll see you in 15. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> 20 minutes has passed. Dramatic pause. Way! How lovely is that? That looks we'll incredible. Just get the cauliflower out. Oh, look at that sauce. It's all nice and thickened. Reduce down, absolutely. And all we're going to do is just pour the sauce over the top of the cauliflower. All the spices have gone in, to, infused into the cauliflower. I'm just going to cut a bit of this off for us. One for good luck. All right. Yum. My vegetarian take oh. on a butter chicken. So simple. Hello, we have Come in the middle. Show. You have? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. So what have you got? Cauliflower and chickpeas. So this is a, a butter chicken, chicken whole cauliflower, cauliflower and steamed yeah. it. Yeah, Amazing. and just a little rice pilaf with it. So what brings you to the Queen Victoria Market? Every year we come for a week to go shopping. Oh, oh really? So Ross flies from the Gold Coast down, I fly down from Newcastle and we meet and we do oh, our food. I love <laughs> shopping. Oh, yeah, good. good. My so what's your name? Judy. Ross. Ross and, and Judy. Judy, nice to meet you, Emily. We're sisters. Yeah. Oh, oh, amazing. Ah. <laughs> oh. 
yummy. Cauliflower butter chicken. That was beautiful. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm, it was. Absolute pleasure meeting you. Lovely. Too. Yeah. Thank enjoy, you. And we enjoy your show. Oh, enjoy. thank you. Enjoy we the market. We walked around and looked at you and I said to Ross, we need to be those people that walk around. <laughs> yeah, I love it. No, thank you so much. Have a good day. Enjoy. Bye. See you. Approved. By Ros and Judy.